All right, we're on. We're rolling. Okay. Hi, my name is Derek. Oh, um, and yeah, Derek. Yeah. Can you please turn around? Why? The Wait. set is the. Other oh, way. oh, you tr <laughs> changing the set on me, guys? That's super funny. All right, let's do this again. Hi. I'm Derek. I'm 18 and a half years old as of yesterday. I really like photography, art, and my family. And, um, oh yeah, I'm blind and partially deaf. Y you know, I thought that doing this documentary would be a great opportunity for everybody to see how I live my life, you know? I don't have any limitations, I drive places, I, you know, buy things, I, I walk, you know, without any supervision. Yeah, I'm, allowed, I'm allowed out of the house until 8 p.m. at night. You know, I mean, everything's great. So, you know, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to share my life with everybody. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm Derek's mom. I am the mother of two beautiful children, including Derek and my daughter, Sharla. I am just absolutely lucky. They're both very creative children. Derek loves photography and Sharla loves just creating art. And um, I just might say Derek is the most outgoing person. He loves doing things by himself. He's totally independent. He's just absolutely a, just a, a loving person. And um, I guess that's all I gotta say. I'm just a really lucky mom who has two beautiful children. Mom, but what about dad? You, for you forgot about dad. Oh, right, and um, my husband, who's um, in, the, in a coma at the hospital. <laughs> yeah, um, Derek loves visiting him all the time. Hi, I'm Sharla, and I am six and a half, and I definitely love the color pink, and I love my iPhone. So yeah, I pretty much try to, you know, hang out with my brother as much as we can. I mean, we kind of share the same room, so we kind of are always by each other. But uh, yeah, I'm a really nice sis. I never, ever, ever, you know, like, make fun of him or, like, his, his disability. And I definitely don't take advantage to it. But, you know, there are some perks, you know? So, um, yep. Oh, and, uh, about my father. My mom was just talking about. I don't know why she's lying. But, yeah, she's like, my dad choked on a peanut and, and then went into a coma. And then three weeks later, he died. But I don't know why she keeps it a secret from my brother. Yeah, I'm still lying to Derek about his father being dead. Well, alive, actually. Um, now, my husband was a war veteran. He uh, won multiple peace prizes. He helped ch starving children in Africa. He did. He was an absolute wonderful person. It, might, it was my son's greatest hero. And so my son visits the elderly who are in comas every single week in the hospital. I still don't have the heart to tell him. But, you know, I mean, we get letters all the time from the elderly's families stating that, you know, he brought them out of their comas. And, you know, so that can't be that bad, right? I mean, he's visiting people who are in comas and it's good for him, it's good for them, no one gets hurt. You know, I'm a good mother. Well, um, to start off this documentary, I guess I can just share around my house. Uh, this is my kitchen. Do a lot of cooking in here. I cook in here. My mom cooks in here. My sister cooks in here. This right here is our stove where we do all the cooking. Right now I have some brownies in here, so uh, you'll get to see those later. And over here, oh yeah, my mom is at the cabinet. She must be just putting some stuff away. Here we have the fridge. Um, I store my popsicles in here. Uh, you know, I, I might get one later. And uh, let's see, uh, over there is... That's uh, not the fridge, you loser. What? Oh, <laughs> see, uh, she likes to joke. She's oh, super funny. Oh, the camera funny. on. I mean, haha, <laughs> that's, uh, that's totally the fridge. Do you want a popsicle? I put them in here. Here. Oh, why are they all melted? Um, okay, bye. Here. Here, I'll show you where our room next. And this is my sister and I's punk room. As you can see, we have all the punk essentials. As you can see, I absolutely like love punk rock. It is my life. Hey, whoa, uh, whoa. Why is the camera in see, here? Look, see, look, see, that's our big um, kiss, uh, you know, shrine we have on the wall. Um, my sister was so cool to let me pick out the color paint, and I absolutely just love black. I mean, she was super, she's super cool with it. Um, why is the camera in here? I thought I could have privacy. I thought I could have privacy. No privacy? <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, this is totally punk rock. As you can tell, the wallpaper is totally black and red. Totally not glitter princess sparkliness. Yeah, totally not. She she helped me pick out everything from the store, and it was great. She was super helpful. Yeah, and I also uh, picked out this skateboard for him. He loves it. Oh my gosh, the best skateboard ever. As you can totally see, it has like skulls on it, and um, it's just super rad and cool, and I ride it to like, high school all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when we were picking out the paint for our room, he said, what color is it? And I told him it was black and red. <laughs> I felt really bad afterwards when um, he invited his friends over. 
I had to pay his friends five bucks each to keep quiet and pretend the colors were actually black and red. Hey, hey, Derek. Hello. Um, after, you know, this later, I'm gonna show you the drawings I drew for you. Really? Really? Yeah. Derek Cassidy's here! Hello, my name is Cassidy, and I'm Derek's best friend. Um, we've been best friends since pretty much preschool. Uh, it's just we made an instant connection somehow, and we've just been friends ever since. Um, he's absolutely one of the most kind, considerate best people I've ever met. He is completely not judgmental at all, for obvious reasons, but otherwise, I mean, one of the great things about being friends with Derek is that I can wear anything I want, or look as crappy as I want, and he really doesn't judge me because he just sees me for who I am on the inside. Um, I guess the only downside to um, being his friend is that he constantly forgets that I'm an armadillo. He somehow thinks I'm a cat who's an Irish woman. He thinks I'm Irish, and I don't sound Irish at all. I am like 100% Norwegian, and so he literally thinks I'm like playing with him all the time because he forgets that I have, you know, my armor, you know, which is because I'm an armadillo. So when he feels that he thinks I'm wearing a helmet and I'm trying to trick him, and he's always like, he's always just like, you know, just because I'm blind doesn't mean you can trick me by putting a helmet on, and I'm like, this is my skin, Derek. This is my skin. I'm not. And so, I mean, I, I can 100% guarantee you today when I go over his house, he's going to think I'm an Irish woman with red hair. I have to remind him every week. Hey, Mom! Oh, yeah, this is my friend Cassidy. Super set. You should to she totally happy to meet her. She's like this super pretty Irish woman, has super, like, long Irish hair. And she's just, she's, she's, she's super cool. She's super cool. You'll, you'll see her. Hey, Cassidy. Oh, um, hey, Derek. Um, I just came over today because I heard you got in this really cool documentary. I just got interviewed. It was really cool. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be famous like Bruce Lee. Oh, I'm sure you will, Derek. Cassidy, I want to show you something. Stay right there. Stay right there. This is my latest painting. My latest masterpiece. I'm going to try to sell 50k. You know, I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, Derek, uh, you're just a starting artist. Don't you think 50k is a bit much? Oh no, Cassidy, I can feel it. I drew this cactus totally, 100% realistically. It is like a photo. Oh yeah, a cactus. It looks, it looks amazing, Derek. Yeah, no, it took me like freaking forever. I had to keep on touching the cactus to make sure it looked right. And I got like so many freaking splinters and pokes inside my hand at the end of it. I don't think I can feel my left hand anymore. Yo, Derek, I wrote up a grocery list for this week because we have no more food and I'm hungry, so go get some. Oh, no, it's okay, Derek. I can go get it. No, no, pop, 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 Mom. I got it. Been doing this for years now. Thanks, sis. I'll go pick it up for you. Yep, I wrote the whole list for you. Charlotte. What? What? Oh, n nothing, dear. Um, just, uh, you know, you don't have to do the whole list. Just get us some milk and eggs. That that should be fine. Give me some, uh, cookies. Uh-huh. Uh, milk. You know, it's fine, Mom. I, I totally got the list. I know it's a lot, but I, I got it. I, got I totally got it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to follow him? No, no, no. Derek is an independent young man. He needs to do things on his own. Yo, camera people, go watch him fail. You know, I bet you guys are wondering, but Derek, how can you drive to the grocery store when you're blind and half deaf? The answer to that is echolocation. Now I do use my sense of smell and just my, you know, my sixth sense, as I like to call it. But echolocation is essentially how I get around places. It's, I can get a vivid image of anything that's in my path. And therefore, I just, all I gotta do is just prop my car windows down and just drive down the road and I'm already at the grocery store. Man, I didn't think the garage was this far away. Whew. Yeah, when you guys with me, don't, don't worry. Sometimes the car's locked and the key won't open it, so I have to hotwire it. It's really weird, but you know, it's probably just the brand of the car. I think I found it. Where's my baby? It's a flaming hot SUV with some flames on it. Got the paint job done a while ago. Let me see if the keys work. You know, it feels like a little bit of a different texture today, but you know, it always does. It's, it's cool. Oh, no. Keys don't work again. Oh, I'm gonna have to hotwire it. There you go, just like always. Ooh, there's some chapstick in here. Thank you, past Derek. <gasps> my car! Here's where the whistling comes in, guys. I gotta whistle so I can see my surroundings. It ain't that easy being me, but it'll do. <laughs> By the way, I still haven't learned how to whistle, but this still does the trick. I can clearly see you're to the right of me. And here we are, 
Yeah, this is the grocery store I always go to. And so, you know, I can just click, you know, it's, it's really great because they have everything in one spot. It's all in the fridge. And so I just go in there and I get it. And it's just, it, I, I mean, absolutely love this place. And their system is so much better. I literally just leave my money on the counter. And then I come back late, like later in the week. And there's like already, the food's already restocked. It's amazing. My only qualm about the store is sometimes they forget to open their doors, even though they're open from 8 until like 9 p.m. So I have to, again, unlock it. And sometimes it's so hard. I have to go through the window. I'll tell you guys, I gotta tell you guys, sometimes the people here are really, really rude. Like, really, really rude. I tried to talk to the manager at some point, but he really didn't care. Um, but the prices are good here, so that's why I keep on coming. But, like, they, well, some legit person told me to get the heck out because it's their house, and I'm like, dude, this is Walmart. Ugh. Oh, hello? Oh, thank God! Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, great, it's you again. Oh, you're the manager! Hey, Benny! My name is Patricia. What? Patricia, my name is uh, Patricia. No, but I mean, I'm, sir, I know I'm blind and stuff, but I can clearly tell you're a male. Pat, just call me Pat. Okay, Pat. Um, excuse me, thank you so much for opening your store up. Hello, my name is Pat Brown, and I live here. Um, for some reason, this kid keeps on coming here like at least twice a week. He comes here, knocks at my door, sometimes breaks a window to get in. He thinks this is like Walmart or something, but you know, I let the kid do what he wants because he pays me back, but it's barely enough to cost. But one perk, even though sometimes he only gives me the 50 cents per like five grocery bags full, sometimes instead of giving me a dollar, he gives me a hundred. So, you know, it all pays off in the end. But really, one time I put up an electric fence and put three alarms on and three locks on my door, but somehow he broke in still. So that echolocation thing is not a joke. But the one thing that I hate about this is that sometimes he breaks in in the middle of the night and it just scares me because he breaks in through my window and I call 911, but you know, by the time they get here, he's gone and I'm just like, you know what? He's just a kid. <sighs> anyway, so Got it, pet. I left the money on your counter like usual. Uh, I took some of more of the essentials. Those, those like really nice like bath bombs you got there. Um, Amazing. Um, and also I needed some more Tylenol I and then those. I yeah, oh yeah, really? You know what? Do it. You should get more of those. Those are great. I'm sure your customers really like it. And um, I also bought your one more because ours what? broke. So thanks, buddy. We love your store. I'll give you a great review on like Wattpad or whatever that is. Will I get paid for being on this show? Darn it. Mom, I'm back. Oh, well, that's great, honey. Yeah, you know, also, I got a lawnmower for you. I left it out in the front yard. Uh, you know, it was on sale. Honey, I, I only gave you $28 to go buy groceries. How did you come back with a lawnmower? It was on sale for 50 cents. Honey, lawnmowers don't go on sale for 50 cents. Honey, did you go to Pat's Walmart again? Yeah, had great deals. Oh, oh, oh excuse me, sorry. I wanted to go catch up with Cassidy. See you later. Um, yes, hello, Pat. Um, yeah, I, I'm so, yes, I'm so sorry about the lawnmower thing. Um, I will turn it back later tonight. He, he, he won't know a thing. <laughs> so, like, if I touch your head, can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> also, do you like my toy? I just got it yesterday. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, it's an armadillo toy. Hey, why are you in here? This is a girl's only time. But, I, I, this is my room. Yeah, but right now, me and Cassidy are playing. Aww. But I want to talk to Cassidy. Only if you play dolls. Can I be Ken? No, you gotta be Lily. But Lily, Lily sucks. Uh, well maybe another time, Sharla. Um, I actually came to visit Derek because no! he was gonna show me. He was gonna show me some of his newest photography. So. Man, Derek ruins everything. He's a. He really loves photography. Um, a lot. He takes pictures wherever we go. He he keeps his camera with him constantly. The only problem is that sometimes he forgets to take the lens off and he has a bunch of photos of just black images or he you know holds the camera backwards and we just have a bunch of pictures of his face. So uh, what do you think? Oh um oh um it's very um Derek by any chance were you wearing your blue cashmere sweater that day? Yeah how'd you know? Oh just, just a hunch. Oh, but isn't, isn't it just breathtaking? Oh, yeah, um, yes, it's very breathtaking. It's, it's so, it's so beautiful, I, I just can't, there aren't any words. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, it's just so, it just shows the circle of life, right? It's like a mother deer feeding her baby deer out in the wilderness. 
I, I remember exactly when I took it. It was it was so emotional. I just I couldn't stand not like showing this to the people of the world. It brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? Derek, out of all hobbies, you had to pick one that doesn't like work out for you. What? Photography's been great. Um, no offense, you know, but um, you're blind and um, how? What? How how huh? do you take photos and you don't? I. What? Can you please not spit in my face? What do you mean? You just like spit in my face. No, I'm at least five feet away from you. Oh my. You guys are boring. I'm going in my room. Must be on, you know, one of those days of the month. Derek, your sister's six. No, she's like 12. Derek? No, she's not. Why would you? Um, <laughs> nice try, Cassidy. My sister told me that I fell asleep for five years straight. It was really weird. One day I just woke up and like the calendar, when I, you know, put my fingies on it, it read 2020 something. Derek, you do realize your sister has, can replace your braille, right? Oh, she would never do that, Cassidy. She would never do that. I mean, granted, it was April 1st that it happened, but you know, I mean, she wouldn't do that to me. You know, I've been wondering why Derek's been signing his papers 2022. I and now I, I actually finally know now. Hey Derek, I got your drawings. Do you wanna see them? Alright Derek, so I made three drawings. Which one is your favorite? Oh, oh my you are the next Pablo Picasso, Charlotte, I swear. I mean this is so beautiful. It's it's like an eagle riding over a fire like pool of lava with like stars twinkling and like a wizard that's on the bottom who's like casting like some kind of like oh, celestial yeah. spell. That is amazing. Uh, that is amazing. Okay, well, how about the next one? Oh you know what? Let me try this. I wanna try the other one. Let me see. Oh oh my gosh, Charlotte, this one's amazing. Did you redo Starry Night from Van Gogh? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, but you did a twist. You put yourself on top of the tree. That's hilarious. Hilarious, Charlotte. Love it. And let's see this one. I. Oh my gosh. Charlotte, this, this is amazing. Charlotte, you have the bald eagle, like, flying on top of the Hulk. While, like, the, the sun is like, yeah, the Hulk. But the Hulk is dressed in a Santa suit. And then, like, it's just, there's, like, beams of rainbows shining down everywhere. Oh, my gosh, all this, this one's just beautiful. It's just so amazing. It's everything. It's everything to me. I, I'm, I'm hanging this up in my room. Wait, 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 which one? Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this, wait, it's amazing. Charlotte, you, uh, you outdid yourself. I'm, I'm hanging this up in my room. No, I'm no, waiting, I, I got it. Um, I can give you a different one. Hey, honey. Yeah, Mom? I, I, um, I, <clears throat> I, uh, you know, since this year you said you're gonna take a year off um, from going to college, I ended up getting you a job interview. I thought it'd be a great opportunity for you to get out there and learn how to make money. So, um, I got your resume out in the dining room because, you know, I help, I thought I'd just help you fill it out a bit. But, Mom, you know, I like doing that stuff. Oh, no, honey, I, I know. I just thought I'd save you some time. So, yeah, the, the dress is right on there. You can go there and then I wish you the best of luck. I think you'll really enjoy this place. And if you couldn't tell my beautiful coach, I am a poodle Rottweiler husband husky mix um you know yeah so we're just a nice little like dog family although my sister identifies as a rabbit now so we got to keep up with the times with that but she's actually a dog oh where's that mom oh it's at the nearest hobby lobby shop i know you love being in there all the time so i thought it'd be nice for you to work there sounds awesome mom thank you so much i'll go right now Sharla? I do try not to be a doting mother because I want him to be independent as, you know, he is. I think he's really taking the wheel on this one. Um, but I do still like to fill out his resume because he thinks that he's a poodle husky wetweller mix. And I, I still really, I, I mean, he's been believing that for a long time and no matter what I say, he doesn't believe it. So I really don't need him filling that out on his form. So I just usually do it for him. Let's see, 1312 2nd Street Avenue. So, let's see. Okay, I should go this way. Man, there is like no traffic today. What luck. Let's see. Yep, this is where Hobby Lobby is. Oh man, I can't wait to start working here.